Hey everyone, Travis here at the very end of day one of the LCS expansion tournament here at the ESL studios in Burbank, California. Joined by Cop. Cop who has, well, he's trying to climb back up that mountain to LCS City, which is on top of a mountain apparently. Cop, how's the climb going? It seems to be going pretty well. Um, we've had, I don't know, it's kind of rocky just because we kind of just pulled players together, like me, Hanser, Bunny, and then Sane, Keen, were already on the team together, I guess. So um, at the start, it was pretty bad. I think we lost pretty much every scrim set coming up to this tournament, except like yesterday and the day before. So I guess that was, I guess, a little motivational boost. But um, yeah, it's a hard climb, but it seems that we're coming together better here. Tomorrow you play against Fusion. I don't know if you had a chance to watch their games earlier in the day. But what are your thoughts on uh, having to face them tomorrow? Um, it's I thought they'd be like super strong of a team, but they ended up. I don't know. Maybe it's just land jitters for. I guess a lot of players have that. Um, even I had a problem in the first game, and then I felt warmed up after that. But fusion, I think if we play like we did the last three games that we just played against Coast, I think we'll win. Now you will. I mean, we're talking about land jitters a little bit, but obviously they've got Macanoon. And Nian, you it's you and Saint and you guys have there's there's some some talent from different areas across these teams. Uh whenever you, you face them, is it strange at all seeing like Nian uh in the A D carry position tomorrow, or is that just gonna be like yeah, whatever? Um, I don't know. I, I have names off so I don't even see their names. Okay. So that kinda helps me a little bit. Um but I don't know, even Mock Noon seemed like he had a bit of land jitters today. He ended up like two and four, or like two and six every game and then Nian does his usual where he just kind of farms a lot. And so I think if we play our, I guess, passive conservative style, it might counteract them. Okay. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, Cop. I think it'll I think it'll be good. What do you do now whenever the day is done to get ready for tomorrow? Um, Probably get some food because I don't actually eat on game day. I eat like a little snack and that's it for like 10 hours. So I'm really, really hungry. And after that, just meet in a hotel room with uh, Peter, who's the main coach for the, the main team, who's helping us out for this tournament, and then just deciding to pick some bands, how we're going to play the game, and just get a good night's rest. Now, if you win tomorrow, not only will you be back in the LCS, but you will also no longer be, at least in a very short time afterwards, on Curse. Is that a strange feeling to you after having been there for so long? Or are you just like, eh? I mean, you were going to leave anyway, so. Um, I think I'll miss it just because I've, made such great friends there i've known steve for like three or four years now um dom like i, I know voice gone quas and especially we're all really good friends so i'll miss them but i don't know i took curse academy up just to do something new so it's just new experiences whenever you you see that steve is get, posting the stuff about like hey we might have to sell it or something like that is it, do you feel a little scared for yourself you're like who's who's gonna who's gonna purchase us could be anyone what if it's a guy who's like i would like you guys to just play in your boxers when you scrim that's the thing i want it's just you guys have have boxers on and nothing else during scrims is it is it nervous at all nerve-wracking um i don't think that'll happen because i think steve doesn't want to i don't know, like wreck us like that yeah. so he'll probably put something in the contract that involves not playing in boxers um so i don't know now you're, you're kind of scaring me now but i was Okay with the idea. Before. Of players just playing in your boxers? Before this, before this, okay. I mean, he could be, he could send, the uh, gaming house could be in uh, Alaska. That would be a lot of flying. Yeah. Flying from Vegas to LA every week was already bad enough. I don't know. Alaska is pretty, though, so that could be cool. Visit Alaska, everyone. Uh, this interview presented by visitalaska.com, the national. Tourism board for Alaska. Anyway, cop. <laughs> cop. What's it like playing with Bunny? Um, I actually wanted him to be on the team when I was on the main roster when he got, I don't know, randomly kicked. But I guess it's special. He was, everyone knows him as like a really good player. And I mean, you can't like pass up on that opportunity. So I understand the reasoning, but I always enjoyed playing with Bunny. He's fun to play with. I, I never get, yeah, I just never get bored playing with him. And then. It uh, just makes it good for me because I don't really like playing a lot of duo queue so, or solo queue at all, but having a fun partner to play with, is it helps me practice more. Final question. 
What's the score tomorrow? 3-1 again. In your favor. I hope so, yes. That's that's what I was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You didn't add that part. Kav, it's so good to interview you again. I hope you make it into the LCS uh, so that I can interview you even more because it's always a pleasure. You're always so excited to do these interviews with me beforehand. It just carries over into the interview itself. You can check out the rest of our coverage of all things esports at ongamers.com.